What's up guys, it's Josh, aka Laser Universe, and uh, I've had a recollection as of a late, and by late I mean like just yesterday or actually a couple days ago. Um, don't call me out for this at all, but I was watching uh, the series known as Miraculous, yes I'm a fan of that, it's actually uh, basically a, another version of Spider-Man that does exist for young children, which I do like, you know, it's reverse role, so it's like what would happen if you turn a black cat into a male instead of having to be a female, what, that's cat noir. What if we turn Spider-Man into a goo, into kind of a goofy, but still clumsy and yet cute girl that is, um, that is Marie, Marine, Marie, Marin, Marin, Marinette? I think that's how you pronounce it, I'm not sure, um, and turn her into a superpowered being. Boom! You have, um, <clears throat> you have Ladybug. And I noticed that in the episode that I watched where, uh, one of Marinette's friend's sister becomes this spider creature, that they ended up, uh, kind of copying Captain America, and I was like, okay, so you're not trying to hide the fact that you're trying to do the Marvel thing, but not necessarily be Marvel. I gotcha. Um, and so, and also Ladybug's, Ladybug sense is sort of like Spider-Man's spider sense, and I'm like, okay, yeah, I get that. I kind of had a strange recollection. Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel, uh, took on the name of Miss Marvel after so many people have, uh, you know, the different, with the superpower that kind of makes makes sense, so to speak. They have a, this weird superpower where they can control, like, energy, laser beams, stuff. Uh, they have super strength, they can fly. And Kamala is not that. She can stretch, she, I'm, she can, like, enlarge her fist. She has, like, a variety of superpowers, if I'm correct. You can Tell me if I'm wrong. I haven't read any Kamala Khan stuff, so I'm very sorry. Um, I want to, though. And I was sitting there going, Why hasn't Marvel revamped Miss Marvel? Now, I know what you're thinking. That would mean Jean Grey, right? Well, yes, but I'm not saying revamp Jean Grey. I'm saying take the name Marvel Girl, give it to a mutant, any mutant, and call her Marvel Girl. It's not the worst thing that you can do because we've seen what they did with Kamala Khan. They gave her the name Ms. Marvel. There's been a lot of Ms. Marvels and they turned her into <laughs> Ms. Marvel. We took Captain Marvel who was given different names and different varieties over the years and <laughs> we turned Carol Danvers into Ms. Marvel and to Captain Marvel. So, you can do anything with some of this, with some superheroes. We've seen that with The Flash, Robin, Green Lantern, uh, over at DC. So, they should play on Ms. Marvel. But, and why am I saying that? Uh, well, there's a good reason why they should play on Ms. Marvel. Because of the, I mean, Marvel Girl. Because it can be a name used by anybody. Similar with Spider-Man. We've seen with Spider-Man before Miles Morales' crea creation that Stanley once stated in an interview, um, anybody could be Spider-Man. You could be Asian, you could be black, you could be Hispanic, you could be anybody in the world, and you can be Spider-Man. You can be in the costume. And, you know, I have a feeling that some people actually have played on that with other creations, like the Fantastic Four. Now, you could have superpowers be, four, be a member of, like, four people and still basically be a Fantastic Four, in my opinion. And that's the thing with Marvel. A lot of times, some of the characters, you can actually be anybody. And so this is why I'm thinking that somebody should outdone a name, Marvel Girl. How I see fit, make the main character a fan of Marvel. So she knows everything about Marvel and to the point of like where her friends call her like a nerd or a geek 
you know, the standard stuff like, you're such a nerd, I don't know why we hang out with you, and then she had that one friend that's like, I don't respect you. So, um, but make her like me, and make her, and make her kind of a moron, so to school life she gets bullied, picked on, and also possibly the annoying person of school who would never have a life at all. <laughs> <laughs> I still made it through school, though. I still have a great love life. I have a great life at turning, I mean, so. But, uh, yeah, you know, like, make her a nerd like me, or like some of the other people that I know. Um, make her into, really into Marvel. So, you know, she goes, she sees Marvel movies, she rips on them, sort of like I do, because... NERD! And, um... You know, have her do that, but then when she reaches a certain age, I don't know, maybe 15, 16, um, I know that in X Men, if by the time that you get to 13, you implement superpowers, you implement mutant powers. But in this case, uh, I'm gonna make her sort of like a late bloomer, so to speak, um, and then. If, uh, if I was writing a story, and then she get her powers like, I would say, 16 years old, she gets her superpowers. And then, you know, she implements these powers, she studies with them, she does, you know, her own thing with them. And then because, um, you know, she goes through her comic books to see what name isn't taken, and, uh, she would sit there and go, and her friend would be like, Captain Marvel! Now that's taken. Uh, Ms. Marvel, that Taken! Uh, how about Cyclops? That doesn't make any sense! I would have it would be like a little bit of a play on thing right there. And then eventually she goes, well what about Marvel Girl? So, because you always like Jean Grey or something like that. And then she'd be like, that's perfect! And so, you know, she would become Marvel Girl. Uh, I think it would be a great you know, thing to happen, you could give her, you know, whatever superpower that you wanted. You could give her, like, a multitude of powers, and then have her state that at first she's, like, a mutant, but then eventually, down the line, reveal that, like, you're from Alien Origins, and we wait until we're a certain age before we implement superpowers. <laughs> Yay for you! And you know Marvel, because they eventually they would do that, they'd be like, at first, mutant, like, down the line, maybe like 30, 40 issues to the 50th issue, and then we're like, Alien! It's like, why would you do that? Because we're Marvel. So, I would like to see a Marvel girl actually played out like this. And I'm not saying that, you know, um, an idea is an idea, and anyone can really play on an idea, uh, you know. And I would like to see a Marvel girl sort of turned out like that. No, I don't really know what kind of race that I would give her with Miss Marvel being a uh, Muslim. Uh, you know, I don't like to say it like that, but I'm sorry if I offended anybody. Really, I am. Um, so, you know, turning her into that, eventually she became an icon that she did everywhere down there, you know? And, um, I've seen people actually get really happy when they see Miss Marvel. Um, at a Walmart, actually, I've seen them looking, actually, no, not a, at a Walmart, at a Comet Depot, I've seen some of these lovely, of these ladies, um, a young one, was looking into a book of comics and pulling out Miss Marvel and actually getting excited. So, you know, that's what an icon can do. Eventually, you know, we take her into an icon. I, yeah, I just kind of played on it. If you can, as you can see, I kind of played on it. So, I still am. But if I could turn it into an idea, I definitely would. I would just keep it, you know, for myself, though. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm not, I would doubt to think that Marvel would ever hire me to write this story because I probably would do a, a good job. Uh, but they would never, you know, hire a dude on the internet because he just talks about this because he got nothing else to do with his spare time.
I live with sad to like what's going on. So, anyway, join me at Twitter with the link in the description below. Tell me what you guys think, if they should play on Miss Marvel Girl or not, why or why not. Be sure to let me know. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Stay, please watch some more of my other videos if you're interested, and also subscribe. So, again, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.